While you were sleeping, members of a South Kansas City household went to the hospital after turning on their heater. So how can you keep your family from the same dangers as the temperatures continue to drop? Uh, Lindsay Shively is live in their neighborhood this morning to explain. Good morning, Lindsay. Hey, good morning, Curtis and Krista. This family of five here on East 98th Terrace did the same thing that a lot of us are going to be doing sooner or later this season. They turned on their heater, and all of a sudden, they really weren't feeling well. Fire crews came out here about 1 o'clock this morning, tested the levels inside their house for carbon monoxide, and they were off the charts. This family drove themselves to the hospital. Turns out an adult and four children all suffering from some degree of carbon monoxide poisoning, all just from turning on that furnace with these cold temperatures. So what can you do to protect yourself? when you do go to turn on your furnace. First off, you need to change your filters three to four times a year. Also, get it professionally inspected, which is more important the older your furnace is because it doesn't have those safety features that shuts it off when it detects a problem. And uh, carbon monoxide often leaks out of the combustion chamber, even if it has the smallest crack. Plus, keep the uh, vent clear. You know, a lot of times during these off-season, you can have leaves get in there or animal nests even. That needs to be clear. And also, keep it clear around the furnace because close clothes, laundry, anything like that can be a fire hazard and really hurt it. And of course, pick up one of these. This is a carbon monoxide detector. It can really be helpful. You can pick it up at most local stores, 20 to 40 bucks. We're live. Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News Today.